All right, let's have situation one. The canopy of a storage building shown in the figure is spaced 4 meters apart. The wind load normal to the roof surface is 2.88 kilopascal. When we say normal, it is perpendicular to the roof surface. Paganyan. Okay, so given S and H, the dimensions, okay, muna natin. 1.8 meters, then 0.8 meters. So, first two question is resultant reaction at D and reaction at G. Focus muna tayo sa reaction. Point D, uh, it is pin or hinge. So, we have a horizontal and vertical. Assuming yung horizontal ko is to the right and vertical is upward can change. No? Does it matter? Basta uh, tama yung gagawin nating equilibrium equation. Dito naman, it is a roller. So, the reaction is perpendicular to the plane of roller. The reaction at G must be RG. And isa lang. O roller, isa lang. Okay? Perpendicular sa plane of roller. Now, for the reactions, it's better to have the load the wind load converted to resultant. Tawag mo siyang FR. And of course, the, the resultant will pass through the center. To the center of the outlet. It is perpendicular. It is perpendicular to the surface. Okay, then, later on, uh, kakailangan, kakailanganin natin yung components ng FR. Yeah? So, if that is theta, then theta ito. Theta din yan dito sa vertical. So so that the horizontal component is FR sin theta. Wala sa kanya yung angle, no? Vertical is cosine theta, FR cosine kasi nasa kanya yung angle. Yan na lang yung tandaan niyo para hindi kayo malito sa pag sa pag component. Kung dito si theta, then ito yung i-cosine natin. Okay. So first uh, the load here is in terms of pressure Convert that one to linear load. And that is 2.88 kilopascal multiplied by the spacing, the tributary width. The result here is in kilonewton per meter. And to have the resultant FR, okay, uh, calculate natin yung length AD. And by Pythagorean theorem, it is a right triangle. Square root of 1.8 squared. Plus that long 0.8 quantity squared. We have the length of AD 3 meters. Then, solve din natin yung theta with the same triangle given. Arc tangent of the opposite side is 1.8. Adjacent side, uh, tatlong 0 0.8 is a total of 2.4. We have here 36.87 degrees. So, the resultant load FR is equal to the normal load times the length of AD. So that one is in kilonewton per meter multiplied by length. The resulting is the resulting unit is kilo newtons. Ito yung mga needed prerequisite values natin. So we can now solve for the reaction. Okay, for me, for this case, um, mas magandang unahin natin yung reaction at G. Mahirap pag mag-moment ka dito, no? Uh, mahihirapan tayo sa moment arm nito about G. Kung dito tayo mag-moment about D, madali yung moment arm niya because it is already perpendicular with that member. So, moment arm nito about D is ito lang, kalahati ng length of AD. Da? Kaya, for me, dito ko kukunin una yung solution ko. Kunin ko muna yung RG. Summation of moment about D equals 0. So, let's say positive uh, moment clockwise. Yeah. So, RG will cause clockwise moment. So, positive. RG times 1.8. You can change your sign. No? It doesn't matter. As long as you are consistent. Then, FR. Wag na natin siyang i-resolve to components for moment. Because, again, my perpendicular moment R na tayo. At what? So, that FR will cause counterclockwise minus FR is 34.56. Its moment arm is half of the length AD. 
the let AD is 3 meters, half ng AD is 3 over 2, equals 0. Kuha muna natin yung resultant reaction at G, or the total reaction at G. Roller lang naman siya. So, correct yung assumption natin to the left, kasi nag-positive yung output. Then, after that, summation of forces na lang ako. Summation of forces horizontal. This time, we can now use the components. Huwag na natin imagine yung resultant components tayo. So, we have dh to the right. That is my assumption. Then, plus fr sine theta. fr theta is eta. Then, minus to the left, 28.8, which is the rg. Then equal 0. Kuha natin yung horizontal reaction at H. I mean at D. Okay. Tama yung assumption natin to the right because positive siya. But take note, the question is resultant reaction. Dapat, ito yan. Resultant between the vertical and horizontal. So, gawin ko summation of forces vertical to solve for DB. So, we have DV upward. Okay, yung sasaluin niya lang is this vertical load. Wala nang ibang vertical load dyan. So, dv is equal to fr cosine theta. fr theta is here. Then, the vertical reaction at d is ito. Correct sa upward. Na? Kasi, it, again, sasaluin niya itong downward force. And, when you say total reaction, that must be square root of dh squared plus dv squared. dh dv, ito yung value. 28.8. Okay, the uh, direction must be like this. Paganyan. Alright. Then, part 2, reaction at G, ito yun. Kuha na natin, actually. It is 28.8 kilo dots. Letter A. At the same sila. RD and uh, RG. Same value. Okay. Number 6. Calculate the axle load on member EF. Ito yung gusto natin kunin. Yan. Lagay ko na lang yung mga values natin. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, kung gusto natin yung kunin, kailangan muna natin matransfer yung uniform load to a single load or concentrated load at each of the nodes. Kasi in reality, hindi pa yan dederecho sa truss natin. Dadaan pa yan sa roof. After sa roof, dadaan sa pearl lens. After sa pearl lens, transfer dito sa ating uh, nodes. Da? Dito sa joints. Hindi natin ina ng, theoretically, hindi natin ina yan dito ng load in between the member because uh, yung intention natin sa truss, it is actually, actually loaded. Yung assumption. So, pag nilagyan natin yan ng load dito, magbe-bend na yan it is not anymore purely actually loaded. Now, although in reality, hindi talaga yan magiging actual kasi may weight. Pero, uh, assumption sa trust analysis, uh, actually loaded siya. So, yung um, gagawin natin dito, tributary area method or tributary width. Okay, tingnan nyo yung mga colors to. Yung blue and blue. Ito naman yellow and yellow. Okay? So, first of all, we need to know that um, the length a, B, B, C, and D, uh, C, D are equal. Uh, bakit nasabi natin equal? Because they have the same distances here. Space equally. Now, kung hindi sila equal, then magdi-differ magdi din yung uh, dimension ng ating hypotenuse. Uh, you can check on that, no? Awagin ko lang X. Now, each of these distances. And the X is just uh, divide natin ng 3 yung total length AD. Itong total length from A to D, i-divide natin ng 3. So, tag 1 meter each pala ito. Okay. So, yung load na matatransfer natin at joint A, tawagin ko siyang F1, yung kinikerry niya, yung binubuhat niya na load is itong andito lang. Kalahati lang ng, ano, tributary with yan. Kalahati ng X or X over 2. The same as on the other side. Dito, X over 2 yung x over 2 ren yung kinikerry at joint D. Kaya, the same value x1. The same sila ng kinikerry na wind load. Ito, tatawag ko siyang f2. Yung kinikerry niya na wind load is kalahati dito, x over 2. And x over 2 din sa kabila. That means, total x yung makikerry niya. And dito ren. 
um, you have here x over 2 and x over 2. With the same mag uh, the same uh, tributary with here, so the same value yan, f2 din yan. Okay, so that is the analysis. Kung iba-iba yung length dito, iba yung length niya dito, then is, uh, gawin mo lang, hatiin mo lang siya. Uh, Tagkalahating length lang siya. Okay, so kunin muna natin yung F1 and F2. So that is simply for F1, WN times X over 2. So substitute natin, WN is 11.52. Yung X is 1 meter, then over 2. You have here 5.76 kilonewtons. While the value of F2 is WN times total length X. So magiging buong X yan. So that is 11.52 no, times 1. 11.52 times 1 or F2 is just 11.52 kilonewtons. Hindi ko na lang nilagyan ng 1. Times X na 1 meter. Okay? Then to solve for EF, there's many ways no, how to solve this problem. Um, sa solution ko dito, kinat ko siya here. Pwede rin actually dito. No? Ah, dito ko siya kinat. So, kung kinat ko yan dyan, titingnan ko yung bottom section. Kasi, konti lang yung loads. Pwede rin doon sa taas, pero napakaraming involved na loads. So, after natin yung i-cut, wag, wag na natin i-mind yung mga loads after that section. Wag mo nang tingnan dito. Yung mga loads na lang dito yung titingnan natin. Okay, so ito yung hinahanap natin, FEF. So, my style here, in trust analysis, I will I will always assume na tension. Da? Para if ever you lumabas the value is positive, then tension siya. Kung negative, compression siya. To avoid confusion na lang para sa mga students. Although, I, I can uh, directly say kung compression ba yan o tension. Da? Kasi cantilever, ano yan eh. Yung canopy is cantilever. The top uh, cord is in tension. The bottom cord is in compression. But again, to be safe, gawin natin tension away from the joint. This is FAB. Itong FBE naman, that is a zero force member. Paano mo nasabi sir na zero yan? Kasi at that joint, kung magsummation of forces vertical tayo, wala yung sasaluin na at joint T. Wala yung sasaluin. Tingnan nyo, summation of forces vertical. Ano yung sasaluin niya? So zero talaga yan. Okay? So, but anyway, to solve for force on member EF, magmo-moment ako kay B. Tapos kung saan magmi-meet magmi -meet yung dalawang other forces para matanggal sila. No? Alibawa lang kung uh, merong load yan. No? Dito natin siya, uh, magmo-moment tayo kung saan magmi-meet yung other forces. Uh, gusto natin makuha ito. So, we need this distance. By the way, yung distance A to B is the distance X, which is 1 meter. And ito naman, from B to E, by ratio and proportion, or by knowing it is just equal distances, yung B natin, I mean yung distance B is simply one-thirds of 8. Or one, one point, I mean 1.8 over 3 in meters. Again, your ratio and proportion, this is to this. 1.8 is to that long 0.8. Ito yung makukuha natin. Okay, so summation of moment at B equals 0. I will still use uh, clockwise positive, counterclockwise negative. So let's start with the unknown. FEF will cause counterclockwise about B. So negative yung take ko dyan. Moment arm is 1.8 over 3. So negative. Counterclockwise. These two forces will not create moment at B. So, ito na lang. 5.76, take note, perpendicular yan. The moment arm is directly equal to 1 meter. Di mo na kailangang i-resolve yan. Uh, ginagawa lang natin yung pag-resolve into components if mahirap kunin yung moment arm of that force. Ito, perpendicular na yan. So, automatic na siya. That will cause still counterclockwise moment. So, positive, uh, negative. Minus 5.76 times 1 meter. So, kuha natin dito is a negative value. So, again, kung nag-negative yan, then, again, tension lahat yung assumption natin. Automatic compression sa if negative. Or absolute value 9.6 in compression letter C. Okay? Now, uh, other way 
pwede ko siyang, actually, kapag i-cut natin sa dito, alright, tingnan nyo, pag i-cut ko sa dito, ito siya is the force on member AE. Of course, the same yan dito. Assumption ko pa rin is still in tension. Action, reaction, equal. Da? That means, uh, considering joint E, FAE and FEF are equal. Pwede pala, kunin natin si FAE dito at joint A. Pwede. Ano yung mas madali, sir? It depends, na? Depende. Kung so, moment tayo, moment arm yung kailangan. Dito naman, okay, pakita na lang natin. At joint A, summation of forces vertical ako. Para makuha mo na si FAB. Padadaan tayo kay FAB. So, you have here FAB upward, sine 36.87, the, the vertical component. Then, minus the vertical component of 5.76. By the way, the theta is here. So, minus 5.76 cosine kasi nasa kanya ang angle. Plus 0. Kuha muna natin si FAB. After we have the FAB, para ma-involve yung FAE, summation of forces, horizontal ako. So, assume FAE is to the right. FAE. Then, the horizontal component of AB. That will be FAB cosine of theta. And the horizontal component of 5.76, that is 5.76 sine of theta, equals 0. So, yung FAE is negative 9.6. The same kanina. No? Again, if kuha na natin si FAE, then focus on joint E. FEF is equal to FAE. Negative value pa siya. So, compression. So, kayo na bahala. Saan, sa, saan yung mas mabilis para sa inyo?